Today, continuing with the tradition, whenever I release a new song, Lost and Alone was just released last Friday, I show you exactly how it was made. All of the details, everything you need to know about it, how this electronic, melodic, house, melodic tech song was made. First of all, if you're interested to listen to the full entire song to really hear what it's about, listen to the lyrics and how it's mixed and like the, the feel of it, just follow the link down below in the description. Any kind of support, listening to it, sharing it, putting it in your playlist is highly appreciated. And before we get into the more technical stuff, I wanted to talk about the initial idea of the song and the vocal recording process. The song Lost and Alone is actually the very first song where I wrote the lyrics entirely myself or almost entirely myself. Usually it's like a session with other people together and we all contribute, but due to COVID, it's just me. I woke up one morning, had like a strange feeling of loneliness for like a brief second. And, and I came up with some, some very sketchy lyrics and I had this idea of someone traveling back and forth to work um, through like a concrete city, artificial air, like kind of dystopian. And um, some sentences like, uh, I, I breathe like I'm drowning, which doesn't make any kind of sense, but then again, kind of makes sense. And it kind of captures a feeling that someone has. So that's, that's how those lyrics kind of develop. There's a full episode where I actually talk about it. Oh, I breathe like I'm drowning. I walk like I'm falling. I feel like I'm not here on that day, that morning where I had this idea. And then the second part was um, trying to find someone that can actually sing it because I can't sing, unfortunately. I'm, I'm still trying sometimes a little to learn it, but I'm still far, far from being good enough for actually putting it on my records. So I contacted Robin Wayne. He's a singer-songwriter from the Netherlands, and we already worked previously together on a song that was released on Lost Frequencies label called Save the Day, and he was kind enough to, in a Skype session, help me to like finalize it. We switched out one or two words, um, got rid of two or three sentences, made it more compact. He sang it, first go, perfect, everything was there, no more changes. Lost and broken, never woken, lost and alone. Maybe half an hour. Also, this is captured entirely on video. If you're interested, both of these videos, initial idea and us making the singing kind of happening, link down below in the description as well as the entire song. Now let's get into the juicy part, the production. The entire song is actually fairly simple, but getting to that simple solution of making it happening took me quite some time. I mean, you can judge by the, the title of it. It's Lost and Alone. New kick, new year, new kick. So I replaced the kick quite a lot of times. And speaking of the kick, let's maybe just start with it because there is not a whole lot of processing to it. Let's solo the kick. Just a simple low cut to get rid of below 30 hertz. It's more something technical than actually something you can really hear at the end when like limiting the entire song. I had the feeling I need a little more space and I just got rid of that very, very low end. Then the next layer is the bass, very simple bass. It's just like sustained notes. Nice and low, perfect for this kind of style of music. I just used the initial serum patch. Um, I think I only changed like um, the second oscillator. No, I actually changed both, but the first one is still a very basic shape. And uh, filter. Closing it down, because I only want the lower frequencies to have more room in the mid and upper frequencies for other elements, of course. And then the global settings, you can actually see the width, it's up by 31 and 35. Just to make the bass fill out more of the left and right. I think nowadays, since this is not going to be pressed onto vinyl, I can safely assume that most clubs have a stereo system, at least the ones that I've DJed in. They are very, very good about their sound and speakers and they measure everything and it's like really, really good and perfect. 
So sterile base is something they can handle easily. But to counteract some parts, I use two EQs. One is set to the side signal only, below 90 Hertz. Everything in the sides is being cut away. And in the mid part, I boost it a little bit around 75 Hertz and cut safety cut at around 40 Hertz. That's something that worked really nice on this song at least. Then a compressor. I actually don't remember why I added it. I think it's not really doing anything. Yeah, just a tiny bit. I mean, I, I could just bypass it. No big change. A big change though is the LFO tool, making sure the bass pumps and gives more room to the kick. And all of this was repeated on a second bass layer. I wanted to add a little more dirt, grit, and kind of give it more substance. So just a second layer. Creates a tiny bit more interest in a section and part of the song that doesn't need a whole lot of interest. We're just having the sustained bass down there to just have bass. The next part are mostly the, the drum elements. We have this clap, vocal clap kind of thing that I cut out of the original vocal. Quite a lot of effects, uh, channel EQ, getting rid of the low end, sample delay to make it wide, tuner, uh, I think I was just checking um, the note of it, little altar boy, just change it, the format of it. Just to change like the tone and character of the vocal, make it sound deeper without changing actually the pitch. Tornado is on here for automation, more than that later, because that's there's quite a lot of crazy automation. OTT, just to push it up a little, make it cut through the mix. Also makes it sound a little thinner in certain frequencies to have more room again for other elements. And at the very end, side chaining, but here as you can see, just like making sure the click of the kick can cut through it. Clap, pretty standard. Hats, pretty standard. A lot of life feel to them. Um, made it with XO, channel EQ, cutting away the high frequencies a tiny bit, sample delay for the width, tremolo to give it some life kind of feel and movement. And then of course, Valhalla Vintage Verb for some reverb. Next up, something I use quite a lot or actually a lot of people use quite a lot because it just gives you that instant drive kind of in these kind of songs, um, a noisy hi-hat. Just playing 16. Just use Diva for it, channel EQ, filter it quite a lot, tremolo again, some movement, a little less than on the, on the hats. And then also here, a tiny bit of side chaining, sample the delay for the width and we got another Valhalla Vintage Reverb. And the rest is basically automation, um, volume automation and also the decay in the synth. Yeah, like creating movement over time, making the song more interesting, very important for club tracks. And then we already got like the main sound, which is an ARP. Um, it was a pad, like I, I programmed in a very simple pad using the same notes as the bass, basically. And it was too boring, so I just played around a little with um, the ARP within Logic. Let's listen to it without any of the facts. I absolutely loved it because it has this melancholic vibe that I was going for, but it was then not club enough. So changing it into an ARP helped a lot. Kind of keeping the, the chord, but make it faster and clubbier. And then some other effects, Rudy Verb. And also here on this one, very important the automation part. It's 
just always here and there a little bit of movement change like the cutoff low cut frequency and also a return signal of one of the effects the next part the vocals I went a little crazy uh let's listen to them without anything I feel like I'm not here is it just me or do we disappear So there is a lot going on. The main reason for it, like Robin has like a too, too beautiful, too nice, too epic kind of Swedish house mafia, don't you worry child kind of, kind of voice, which is amazing. But for this song, I wanted something a bit grittier, a little more like the, the feel I was going for, for the song. So I uh, added quite a lot of effects, EQ, very standard, but then the vocal synth is doing quite a lot. I breathe like I'm drowning, look like I'm falling. I feel like I'm not. Mixed in 29% of the Kampu Vox, which makes it like a computer voice in a, in a way. And then uh, Nectar is just doing the compression and the EQing and Decapitator to make it even crunchier. But it's like, it's a pretty heavy setting of distortion, but then just like a couple of percent mixed into it. And then <laughs> there's even more. Uh, I wanted to have, again, more movement over time. So I automated those vocals um, quite a bit. I got uh, volume, of course, for different sections. And then um, you can see all of these buses. They do pretty crazy stuff. Um, some of it is just reverb, Valhalla in and out, tape delay in and out, um, dispersion, another great effect, wow too, which is even crazier. And then bus 21, has like four effects on top. That's like the, the main movement bus. It, it goes through these four effects. Eight, same routine, gray machine surrounding me, artificial air everywhere. I breathe like So the first one is uh, the simple pan delay with the delay designer. Always nice and crazy stuff, fully on wet. For a more like artistic, weird, funky delay. Then a reverse razor in the reverb. And then all of this is going through the looperator. And that's doing these weird effects. I breathe like I'm drowning, look like I'm falling. I feel like I'm not here. Is it just me? Or do we disappear? Oh. Just to give it some interest, it's it's quite subtle. I mean, if you if you listen to the song, you can hear movement in the vocal, but it's not destroying the vocal entirely. And then on all of these effects, a sample to delay to make all of them wide and keep the, the voice separate from the effects. So the effects are wide, the vocals are still pretty much centered. Additional vocals on top like a, a backing track. Oh, lost and on that layer, a lot less effects to make it human again, in a way. Um, and then rest effects, small transition sounds, um, nothing too fancy. I think this one right here, I actually like quite a lot. It's uh, the electrical noise sample out of Logic. I just filtered it again, movement, little effect. And on the drop, uh, I, I went for a pretty, I tried to create a dramatic drop. So vocal is going up, effects are going up, the noise, everything is going up and up and up and up. And it then just drops to kick, bass and the main synthesizer. Quite simple, but just the main synthesizer sound wasn't enough. I, I felt like like the drop is so empty, I need to add something something else on top. So I added two more synth layers. One of them, Diva, with also the same arpeggiator. So, so these both additional layers play the same thing, but add different characters to it. And then again, all of it automated to create the movement. Let's go through these layers. That's the main one you already know.
in the drop, it's actually not the main layer. It's more like an additional movement layer. The main layer is this new one right here. It's a more gritty kind of layer. That was what I actually was missing on that drop. And then another layer for the sparkle. All three of them. Yeah, just the main one was just too soft for this kind of drop. So I, I, I needed more. And it's just this part of the song. It's just like underneath the main main drop. Simple club song. It's more about how to get there, which sometimes takes long. I, I worked pretty long on this one, although it's it ended up being quite a simple song. That's just the way it is. If you're working on your songs, don't be frustrated. It just sometimes takes quite a long time. And then you listen to other people's songs and you think like, wow, they're so simple, but they work. But it's, it's about the working process to get to that simple kind of solution where everything works and it just sounds um, sounds good enough to be released. So just, just keep it up, you'll get there. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. If you want to listen to the full song, support it, go check it out. Link down below in the description. And yeah, see you again for another video, hopefully soon. I mean, there's still that club that I'm building and, and I want to share with you everything about it, but not ready yet.